I'm Paul Bennett at Down East Thunder Creations along the Bull Coast here in Millbridge, Maine. And I have my little Budette Gidget with me today. Hey, baby. And uh, this week's video, I made a, uh, a sandwich, uh, sandwich type sign, sandwich board sign, I think they're called. And, uh, and this is to be used as a contractor sign when I'm out on a job out in the field. I can put the sign out by the truck or out in the front yard of the building I'm working on. But this sign comes in handy for a lot of things. <clears throat> you could make a sign and uh, put it up to advertise a yard sale or uh, maybe it attracts attention at a local craft fair. One of these outdoor craft fairs and everybody puts up their tents and you could stick one out in front of your tent to attract some attention. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, uses for this sign. Or if you have an event where you might want to put some big arrows to point the direction and indicate where parking is. It's a very simple, this is a very simple sandwich board type sign. And uh, I made it using reclaimed wood, some scraps I pulled out of an old building that would have been thrown in the dumpster. And uh, so it didn't really cost me much of anything. And although I did, I carved my sign with my X-carve just to make it easier for me to paint, I could follow the lines because I'm, I'm not an artist. I, I don't do very good with painting. And uh, But if you are pretty good at painting signs, then you don't have to have an X-carve. You could just hand paint the sign. Or you could go to uh, a vinyl uh, cutter or sign maker that can do vinyl graphics for you, cut them out, and you can stick them on. And uh, the sign is versatile because uh, if you did what I did, I put the the basic sign that I made out of plywood, I, I fastened it with finish washers and I didn't use any glue so I can detach that sign and I can put other signs on there so I don't have a whole lot of these uh, sandwich racks or frames if you want to call them that because the frames could take up a lot of room if you have a lot of them but I only need that one and then I could just these little thin quarter inch plywood or six millimeter plywood uh, uh, signs you can interchange them and they won't take up as much room. So let's get to the video. I'll show you how I made it. Uh, there are free drawings available if you want to download it in a, in a uh, PDF and the link is below the video description and uh, I hope you'll uh, keep well we just had the 800 subscriber giveaway and uh, very happy the uh, the numbers keep going so please keep subscribing uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. You're automatically entered into my giveaway drawings. And uh, please uh, like or don't like, I don't care, but thumbs up, thumbs down. And uh, please share. I appreciate it if you share my videos. So, thank you for watching.